Hello there everyone, and today I'm reviewing a Star Wars movie, so if you know this channel, I review a Star Wars movie every May the 4th, but uh, that's just for the, the main 9 movies, but for this, this is going to be a special occasion, because I'm doing a Clone Wars chronological rewatch, and I want to review it on this channel, because I want to have my opinions out there for the Clone Wars. And I want more Star Wars content. So, uh, this movie came out in 2008. And I gotta be honest, this is not my favorite of the Star Wars, the Clone Wars, or the movie. Certainly not. I kind of just view this as like one long episode. And that's probably the best thing I could say about this movie. But uh, I don't hate this movie. Of course not. It's just like I can never truly hate a Star Wars movie. Of course not. I just didn't see the point of this being called a movie. But it's basically the introduction of Ahsoka. It's I feel like this is like the early start of the Clone Wars animation. The 3D animation. Unlike with the 2D animation. Maybe I'll review that one day. But uh, anyway, this is about... Uh, during the Clone Wars, uh, Jabba the Hutt's son is kidnapped. And it's up to Anakin and Ahsoka and Obi-Wan to go find him. And what also happens is uh, Count Dooku is framing the Jedi against the Hutts. Making them look like the bad guys. And it, it looks like the Jedi must clear their names. Sort of. But uh, I think... What mainly drives this movie are the battle scenes. Like, we get, like, iconic battle scenes of the Battle of Christophsis. When I think of the Clone Wars, I really want to think about the Battle of Christophsis. And I'm pretty sure the one episode, I forget what it's called, it's like one of the Betrayer clones episodes. It's, it's out of order in the show, but, like, that episode feels like a prequel to this, epi this movie. Because after that episode... It, then, then this movie happened. But uh, I feel like like the voice acting. I'm gonna really talk about it. Like I feel like this movie also gives us like iconic voice acting with uh, Matt Lander as uh, Anakin Skywalker, James Earl Taylor as Obi Wan, and Ashley Eckstein as Ahsoka, Tom Kane, and they actually got some celebrity voices. We got Christopher Lee, legendary actor, voicing Count Dooku. I think this would be the last time he'd ever play the role again before he, uh, you know, passed away years later after this came out. And we they actually got Samuel L. Jackson, even though in the show it was T.C. Carson who voiced Mace Windu in the show. But I guess Samuel L. Jackson was willing to voice Mace Windu for this. Who knows if he'd ever return as Mace Windu? I don't know. There's wild fan theories. But anyway, that's off topic. But, uh... But I think, like, the opening battle is just the Battle of Christosis. Like, Obi-Wan is trying to stall uh, this one governor guy so they can shut down the ray shield for uh, the shut down the, the battle, basically. And I think the it first starts off as just a battle. Like, clones are just shooting battle droids. They're getting shot down. And one actually tries to punch a clone, like, a battle droid, and he ends up breaking his arm and then he dies it was he was a brave clone and i'm gonna randomly say this uh, r2d2 is in this battle and i like how he's actually contributing to the battle like he's following the clones as they're trying to attack and he ends i uh, like the clone that pats his head and, like he's a loyal clone and as this is going on i think the battle ends shortly and that's where we're introduced to ahsoka so uh, people thought ahsoka was annoying when they first saw her I, I gotta be honest, I didn't, I didn't think she was annoying. I view her as, like, a Jedi that grows up. And I know Ahsoka's in a lot of stuff, but this was definitely a great introduction to her. Like, and some people make the argument that they don't like Ahsoka being the Padawan of Anakin. He's like, oh, Anakin never had a Padawan. But honestly, uh, George Lucas insisted that she be the Padawan of Anakin, so... Mm, like, it doesn't bother me at all, really. Because I really, I feel like a highlight of this movie and the show overall is Anakin's real friendship with Ahsoka. Like, I know later in the show, she leaves the Jedi Order. That's a big spoiler. 
and I, it feels like it's a it's a reason why Anakin turned to the dark side and I feel like this friendship is like an early start of Anakin's I guess compassion towards others and his he, I don't know he's really funny with her like he they gave each other nicknames and they're they're Anakin gets more frustrated with Ahsoka as the battle goes on like they're trying to shut down the, the shield while Obi-Wan's stalling and I don't know it's just taking them a while until Ahsoka finally presses the button that blows up the generator and I think the battle of Christophsis is over and honestly this could be like the end of the episode if you really think about it but no uh Ahsoka and Anakin are sent to go uh, find uh, Radada Hut, and I think the rest of the movie is kind of just them going to this one, I don't know what planet it's called, but it's like, it's like, um, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, it's, that's where Radha is captured, they discover his location after a brief, I guess, conversation, at the, one of the star cruisers, but then, uh, I feel like more battles happen as this is going on, since this is the Clone Wars, and we do, uh, who's the jet, the Civ assassin that's tracking them is, like, a Saw's Ventress, yeah, so this, you can consider this, like, maybe her first appearance in this show, well, she did make an appearance in the Clone Wars micro series, but, uh, I feel like this Asajj Ventress is a lot better. But apparently, uh, as she hunts down Anakin and Ahsoka, there was this entire deleted scene where Anakin and Asajj Ventress fight in like some Rancor-like pit. And they fight like a Rancor or something. And I think it was in like the Clone Wars Lightsaber Duels video game. Who remembers that game? <laughs> like seriously. But, uh, I think basically what happens is Anakin and Ahsoka do find Rada, and they call him Snakey. It's a weird nickname, but whatever. But, uh, as they're trying to find a way to get out of this place, they're in the palace they're in, I think we do... I forgot to mention Captain Rex. Uh, yeah, he he's a good captain. Like, I love Rex. I'm a big fanboy for Rex. I think that's... We all know. We all love Rex. And uh, what surprised me is, like, he was able to take a toe on stand with uh, Ventress for a bit, even though his squad got taken out as they were holding them off. And he ends up getting attacked. Like, he ends up getting mind-controlled into Lore and Anakin out. And I I was honestly surprised that Ventress didn't kill Rex. Like, I, I guess Rex is too cool. So, uh... Anyway, I think Anakin, Ahsoka, and R2 escape this palace of Rada, but uh, they use like this uh, ship called the Twilight, and it's pretty cool. It's a pretty old ship, and it was it was able to be manageable. And I think meanwhile, uh, Count Dooku is basically just framing the Jedi, like he's telling Jabba that they're trying to kill his son. I guess Dooku's doing this just to make the Jedi look bad, but anyway, uh, I think Anakin, Ahsoka, and R2 barely make it out of the planet they're on. I think Rex and Cody are trying to war off the remaining droids, and that's where Obi-Wan comes in and saves the day, but he has to run into Ventress, and they get into this cool duel, and when I, when I originally saw this when I was little, uh, I, I, I was so worried when Obi-Wan was going to die, but we know he's not going to die because he doesn't die till New Hope. But uh, I, don't know. I just like how Obi-Wan like, like kind of trolls Ventress. Like, I like how in the first episode of the Clone Wars, when it first aired, like Yoda takes out Ventress by just grabbing her lightsabers, and that was it. Obi-Wan's just like, mm, Ventress, you're something. And then, he, and then when Anakin escapes, Obi-Wan's just like, you're just no, there's nothing more to fight for, Aventress. And he ends up knocking her lightsaber out, and she jumps and flees away. And that's kind of the rest for Obi-Wan in this movie. But uh, I think what happens next is uh, Anakin, Ahsoka, R2 are on Tatooine. A- Anakin's a little ooh, unhinged to go to Tatooine because uh, his past, if you know the Phantom Menace. I do like the scene where R2 is like afraid to touch the stand for whatever reason. 
And Ahsoka tells him he'll be fine. And they're just traveling through the desert. And I think Count Dooku's tracking them down. But then they all split up. Ahsoka's with R2 and Rada. And I like this one trick where Anakin gets into a duel with Count Dooku. It's actually a really cool duel. And uh, Dooku thinks he kills Rada. Because he was actually trying to kill Rada this whole time to make the Jedi look bad. I guess so they can make, convince Jabba that they actually killed his son even though they didn't. But then Anakin has a trick up his sleeve. He puts rocks in his little bag that carried Rada. And I think Ahsoka has to deal with a challenge herself. She has to fight Magna Guards that are guarding Jabba's palace. And I, the, R2 actually tries to fight a Magna Guard, but he ends up getting kicked. And he says, whoa. And then Ahsoka barely made it out alive fighting the Magna Guards. And then Anakin ends up going into Jabba's palace after escaping Dooku. And he ends up actually trying to point his lightsaber at Jabba. And... He's wondering where Ahsoka is until Ahsoka shows up and they retreat Rada home. And then, yep, the movie kind of just ends with clones, Yoda, Obi-Wan. Man, that's the Clone Wars movie. Yeah, I think my only issue with this movie is just, like, the animation. Like, it looks off. Like, you can kind of just tell. Like, I prefer other Star Wars movies than this. Like, I don't mind watching this. I kind of just prefer this was just an episode of the show. But I don't know, they just wanted to make it a movie for whatever reason. And I, I, was this released in theaters? Apparently people didn't like it. This could be like another movie I like that everyone else seems to hate. But uh, this is a hidden gem for Star Wars. And uh, eh, I think you did, if you like the Clone Wars, you can probably have a good time with this. But uh, I, don't know, I feel like adult eyes... People are probably going to be like saying the movie doesn't look that good. But anyway, I can give the Clone Wars movie 1 out of 7 out of 10. So uh, I don't know how I'm going to review the rest of the Clone Wars. As I'm re-watching the show, if I finish Season 1, I'll probably review a Season 1 and Season 2. I don't want to review each episode like what Star Wars Explained did, because that would be forever. But uh, and Plus, I'm already doing Ninja Turtles reviews, so I just review a season. And maybe I'll review Star Wars Rebels, and you get the point. But uh, I don't know what the next movie review will be, since this is a movie review. I'll probably be doing Christmas movies, if I can pick one out. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you always.